trying for a comeback. Andy Lowley trying to complete what's been an amazing career. He's never won in NASCAR. And here we go, green in our second overtime. Look at Gibbs. Oh. Into the dirt. Splitter's still on it. He's been doing more off-roading in the last few laps under green than he has been racing on the asphalt. Gibbs up to second. Cindric is fourth. He needs to get by right now and put some distance between him and the 22. Gibbs is there, and he makes the pass on Jeb Burton. 54 out front at Daytona. Oh, and a spin behind him. Behind him. 99 involved. So is the seven of Justin Allgaier. Will it produce a caution and send us to a third overtime? We saw the nine and Noah Gregson. Day just continues in the grass. Ryan Sieg was also in the middle of that. These guys are all racing each other so hard right now. It's so much fun to watch these guys. Great, I want to be out there. Great comeback from Brett Moffitt. We saw him with the flat tire earlier and have to come down pit road. We're in fifth. Yeah, trying for his second straight top five to begin the year. Career best last weekend. How about Jeff Burton hanging in there really good? He's got those old tires on that car uh, running in second still. He's going to get a good finish. He might not be able to hold off the 22 with the tires here, but you know, it's looking like if this thing goes through the rest of the way, he's probably going to finish third. I wouldn't have thought he would be the best finishing colleague car today, but yeah. that's where we are right now. He falls to third. Cindric is by, and now the question becomes, can the 22 run down the 54? It's going to be tough. We saw earlier on a short run how good that 54 was. He's fired up. I think that was Austin. <laughs> He's ready to get going in there. Well, I was hoping it wasn't Ty. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he's trying to outbreak him here. Ty, Ty can't get relaxed here. He doesn't have that rabbit like we talked about out there. Yeah. Austin's coming, man. <laughs> In one second, you're nine-tenths of a second uh, and, and shrinking. This is going to be something. One lap to go, and the next flag will end it. Should the caution come out, this race would be over. Cinder gaining ground, eight-tenths of a second behind as they hit the infield. Work turns two and three. Before, this is where Ty was really good, breaking into, into the, into the, you know, uh, inner loop here. Yeah, these just are never over till they're over, I tell you, man. It, you look at the clash, you look at the 9 and the 12. There was a pretty decent gap between them at one point, and it closed up a lot. As that second-place car has nothing to lose and that his heavy braking zones is going to try to get everything they possibly can get. If Austin can stay close to the second horseshoe here, he might have a chance. He's really good up onto the banking and into that backstretch bus stop. He's running out of opportunities. The advantage back out to a second and a half for Ty Gibbs. Out of the infield and back onto the high banks. That's a pretty big gap there. He, he actually legged Cindric through there. Uh, you look at the gap now, 1.6 seconds. There's Coach. You think he's nervous right now? Let's see a pulse rate monitor on him. <laughs> it's probably probably more than ties. Imagine watching your grandchild out there on the big track doing this. What a uh, amazing feeling that must be. He's checking boxes, getting through all the challenging portions of this race course. <laughs> Cindric getting it all through there, hitting the turtles on the exit. Good. And now turns 13 and 14. The front stretch chicane for Ty Gibbs. His grandfather is a legend. And at 18 years old, he's going to win in his first career start. Here's Ty Gibbs, a victor at Daytona. Paul McCool. Unbelievable. I don't think any of us would have thought that coming in today. And now the Hall of Famer, Joe Gibbs, can take a deep breath. That's why you got to watch these races. You know, before the race started, we thought it was going to be a two-car race between Almendinger and, and Cindric. We did not think about Ty Gibbs getting in there and doing an amazing job on new tires, working through the field. You know, I, I would have thought at that point, you know, as a rookie, you may not get everything you can get with those new tires to get through the field as quick as someone experienced as much as, as Austin is uh, in this series. You know, he had a, the reigning champion behind him uh, in, that, in that Penske Ford and was able to um, 
You hold them off. Very impressive. 21 wins now for Chris Gale in the Xfinity Series, and this is one he'll never forget. Taking the boss's grandson into victory lane at the World Center of Racing. Sixth driver to win in their series debut. Third youngest winner in the Xfinity Series. Joey behind you and Chase Elliott. Let's watch this restart here. You see a good start. You know, Ted and Jeff Burton really able to jump out. Great there, start finish line. You can turn down, get below that double yellow and look into the braking. Oh my gosh. Brendan Joseph had no clue he was going to be there. <laughs> so much speed into it. Goes through the third, still hangs onto it, makes the corner. And at this point, Jeb's in trouble uh, as they go into turn three. Going to outbreak him so easily. Let's hear from a proud grandfather, Regan. Well, Coach Gibbs, you've been a part of a number of huge wins in your racing career, your football career. Do any of them match up to this right now? No, really, when it's your grandson like that, I said Coy has guided Ty through his whole racing career. I wish he could be here. Heather's upstairs. I, I just am thrilled. Uh, I don't know what to say, really. It, when it's your grandson, it's definitely different. And I thank the Lord for getting this opportunity. I want to thank uh, Monster, who's been right with Ty the whole way, Rodney, Mitch, and uh, I want to say thanks to Toyota for all they've done for us. So it, it's, it's like a dream come true for our family. Pat, everybody back home, Mom, thank you. I'll be checking in with everybody. A nearly speechless Coach Gibbs. Their highs and lows in sports, their highs and lows in life. The Gibbs family has experienced them all. But tonight, it'll put a tear in your eye watching this kid win in his first career start and hearing his grandfather speak about what it means to this family. There you go. He's got it going now. Hey, first win, you got to learn how to do burnouts, man. It's uh, a <laughs> go for the grass. You can always get them spinning in there. How cool for uh, the Gibbs family, though. Man. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.